What's up guys, in this video we're going to take a look at um, one of Orbit's uh, automatic uh, faucet control timer. Uh, this is their newest product, I think they just recently launched, it's called Beehive, uh, which is a Bluetooth controlled um, faucet timer. And this one it controls a single, a single line, but they, have also, uh, they also have other products that controls multiple lines, um, so, or you could just buy a uh, one of those multi faucet uh, like adapters and then control one of those into each of those adapter uh, to control different lines. But this one is um, it's uh, set up by Bluetooth, so there's no settings on the timer itself. Uh, we're gonna take a look at the timer. Supposedly, it's it should be really easy and simple to set up, and most of the stuff you can control is gonna be in your app. So we're gonna take a look. Uh, at the app once we take a look at what is included in the box. Okay, so um, Pretty simple. I open up the box and there's a thank you card uh, Or if you have questions customer support is right there for you. You also have a quick start guide For the beehive and again it, the entire thing looks extremely simple. Okay, so I haven't used one of those uh, timers before but uh, let's go ahead and just start from zero and um, see how easy it is to get this started and get a timing schedule started as well. Okay, so uh, it looks like the first step is downloading the app. Second step, insert the batteries into the timer. And third step, install the timer on the faucet. And the last step is actually configuring the timer once the uh, once once it's installed on the faucet. Okay, so um, looks like that's pretty much it in this box. Okay, so again, I we bought those on Amazon, and it's about forty forty three dollars forty four dollars each. So if you do have multiple faucet that you want to control, um, the cost do add up. Okay, but if you just have a single faucet, this is really looks to be really easy to set up. Okay, so uh, this is the timer itself. It's a, it's a plastic box, pretty much. And over here is your standard uh, uh, faucet connection. It looks just like my existing timer, which actually failed after about two years of regular use. Um, and that connects to your faucet, and this connects to the hose. Okay, so um, there is no physical buttons on here besides a power button for on and off. And this is your battery box. It looks just like any other Orbit battery box out there. So pretty much you open it up by just pulling it out, I think. Yep. All right, and it takes two AA batteries. So I am not gonna, I'm actually gonna not insert the battery as of yet. I'm gonna actually put this on the faucet outside, replace a broken one, and then we're gonna set it up after we connect the hose, okay? Okay, so we're outside now. This is the timer we have originally installed. Um, this is a single faucet timer with automatic uh, controls, but it's not Wi-Fi. So we're gonna replace that with the Beehive and hopefully that would work uh, much better than the old one. Okay, so make sure the faucet is off. We're gonna actually just uninstall this first. So the new one is really easy to install because this, this is a very much larger grip with rubber insert. So it should make installation on the faucet much easier. Good. Alright. Now we're gonna connect the hose. step is uh, put the battery in there and the light should light up eventually yeah 
So once that is light up, you hear a few clicks. I think it's testing the, uh, the connection. So I haven't had the water turn on yet. Okay, so we're gonna go into the app. I have an existing account. Alright, so um, by default, I ask if you want notifications about, you know, watering events. Say yes. This is a new device. We're going to set it up from uh, scratch. Okay, so we find, uh, which is this one, the host force at timer. And it's pretty much step by step. So we need that MAC address. Okay. As you can see, it's already found the thing right here. This match. And it's pretty cool because you can actually push a firmware update right on your phone. So right now it's connecting to the machine and then trying to update uh, the firmware in the faucet timer which might take a little bit. So we'll come back in a little bit and then update you guys, okay, once the uh, firmware update is done. Okay, so the firmware setup is done and uh, uh, right now it asks you to give the host timer a, a name and you can also additionally take a picture for the timer. So that's what I did. And it also asks for your zip code um, to know the location of the timer. Turn on the faucet. Double check to make sure there is no leaking from any places. So I'm gonna so make sure the you know the faucet is on and I'm gonna hit the test. Okay, so it's gonna run about 20 seconds to calibrate the flow. So we're gonna stop. So the sprinkler worked just fine. Uh, front yard. Just hit stop and it actually stopped. So we're gonna hit okay. yard watering looks like you can already uh, start customizing the schedules which is pretty cool set it for 7 uh, 30 in the morning for 10 minutes and you can select the date and fully customize it so we're gonna have it wrong maybe every other day um, or you can select it just quickly even all days week days whatever so it's pretty much Sam And it looks like it's already ready to go. Um, you have the option to water manually, uh, or there's a ring. You can set a rain delay, which is pretty cool. All right, guys. So 
Yesterday, we've actually installed the uh, the Beehive faucet timer. And today, it's daytime, so the light is a little bit better. I want to show you guys what the, the app looks like, as well as, you know, the how easy it is to set up the control and the timer for uh, one of the faucet timers. So definitely, I'm planning on adding more of the of those uh, faucet timers to different uh, zones in my in my uh, near my house. And I'm also going to consider add a Wi-Fi hub because uh, with that, the timer actually is able to utilize that Wi-Fi hub and control um, or conser conserve the water when there was actually rainy days. So they, they don't turn on when it rains. Okay, so over here, I just open up the app and it greets you with a very easy to follow screen. So on the top, there is a weather information over here for today. And over here, tells you that the fault timer is Bluetooth connected. I'm actually uh, pretty far away from the timer now and it's still able to connect with the Bluetooth because I'm at least, I would say, uh, 12, 12 to uh, 15 foot away. Uh, it's still able to connect, which is uh, great. And over here you have the option of rain delay or water manually. If I hit water manually, you can set a timer and just hit start and the timer will actually start watering um, it will turn on the timer and it will start watering right away for the set amount of time, which you can just easily control with your finger. Okay. So we're not going to do that because, um, it just watered this morning. Um, we go to the calendar over here in the calendar. It actually shows you, um, you know, what the weather looks like for the upcoming days. If there's rain, it's going to tell you, oh, it might rain, you know, for that day. And on the green dot is the time that you've set to water the, the faucet, uh, to turn on the faucet. So you're easily able to manage your timing, like very easily. So if you click on this day, it will tell you what time you're going to turn on the faucet for how long. So I set it to turn on every odd day. So Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is going to turn on at 7.30 a.m. for about 15 minutes. And it's following that schedule. Uh, religiously okay so as you can see over here it's already preset for the upcoming month or even years you can change this very easily by let's see what's the part by going into the programs and uh over here you have your program that's already set for the schedule if you hit edit you can see what you set for the timer okay so uh over here the length is 15 minutes and uh Let's see. Okay, so it, it could get pretty complicated. So um, I'm just gonna show you guys the options over here, okay? So you can set the timer at 7.30 and it's good water in the morning. Uh, you can also set the day where it's gonna water from the bottom. You can set the length where, how long it's gonna be watering, all in the program section. And as you add on more of those timers, you can probably edit all those timers at once, or you can edit them individually. So there's plenty of options for you to do. You can also, this is a, a zoom setting. So if you have different zooms for the front yard, for the backyard, uh, or you know, for any anything that you set, you can customize over here in the zooms. In the zooms, this is where you also gonna set up the the time the the flow rate this is where you detect the flow rate by setting up a calibration uh, this is also every time you add a new timer it's gonna do this calibration as well so I've already done that I'm not gonna do that again but this is where you set the uh, flow flow sensor data okay watering events um, so like here really this is like if you have multiple faucet timers, you have to set up the zone over here. But we're not doing that because I only have one timer set up right now in the programs. Okay, so there are different ways of setting up your timer. However, in this video, I just quickly showed you guys how easy it is to install the timer and get it going like right away. Um, if you go to my, beha my behave or my behave, uh, over here is where you can manage your devices, you can manage your accounts and your notification settings. You can also provide feedback and there are help settings. I think there are some videos in there to help you um, on if your device is not working properly, you can get some help over here. 
but the entire thing is super, super easy to set up. I almost feel like this whole thing is easier to set up than the actual like manual auto timer um, that uh, we took off yesterday. Um, so the on-device thing is actually, this is much more intuitive, okay, to me. And uh, the cost is actually almost the same. So this uh, this Bluetooth timer is about $40, $42. And that manual timer that we took off yesterday, um, that thing actually costs, uh, I think, more than $30. So really, there isn't much uh, of a difference in time. And the entire setup process is so much easier. So uh, in that sense, I think um, for the future, we're definitely going to add more of those uh, faucet timers onto the faucet. So uh, we just bought another um, nice beehive, the Wi-Fi Bluetooth controlled uh, water timer. And uh, I'm setting it up because, um, look down here, I have the Wi-Fi hub on this one. So the Wi-Fi hub is already set up. It's extremely easy to use, extremely easy to set up. All you have to do is actually just follow the quick start guide, pretty much turn on the Wi-Fi hub and uh, open up the app and then turn on the um, the timer as well. And in the app, it should automatically detect all those devices and just very easily pair it and update the firmware and it's ready to go. It's already being added to my um, home, the whole system, the Beehive system. And uh, after that, um, I can easily control both of those Beehive systems if they're close enough with just one hub. So it can um, control the watering based on the weather. A huge plus because it saves uh, a lot of water, especially if you're away and you don't know what's going on you know, at home and you want to turn on and turn off the timers, which is uh, definitely, definitely better than annual, any of those manual timers out there, okay? Uh, so all in all, the Beehive system works extremely well. This is already the second timer that we have. Um, the first one uh, we installed a few weeks ago and so far it has been reliable and my wife is able to actually easily adjust the, the timing, the watering of the timer through the cell phone app that uh, I demonstrated earlier in the video. Um, so just showing you guys uh, the front yard setup. So um, I just replaced this one. This is the second unit at the front yard. Unfortunately, the front yard was originally set up with a timer with two outlets. So now I gotta go to my hardware store and we're gonna buy a splitter. So this one can serve for both of those, um, those hoses because one goes to the uh, right side and the other one goes to the left side. And once I get the splitter, I should be able to do the automatic uh, watering based on the app setup. So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be great. But in terms of ease of setup, the Beehive system is extremely extremely easy to set up and very convenient to use compared to a manual timer for sure. The thing you of course you have to come over here, turn it on or off, and if you're away, you just cannot do anything about them. But with the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi enabled Beehive, you'll be able to control your entire home watering system, um, you know, while you're away. Uh, just make sure the battery is always uh, fully charged, you know, constantly test the battery level, make sure they're in the optimal condition and you should be good to go. So hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, please do hit the like button or subscribe and share your experience uh, with, uh, with me about your Beehive system. Thanks again and uh, take care.